Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Coach's Corner. Evan O'Neill and head coach Stacy Wentz here with you. Hope everyone had a nice weekend. The weather wasn't too pleasant here in Massachusetts and Saturday was tough for both field hockey and football with one point losses at home. But cross country was on the road in Pennsylvania and the results were very good at the Paul Short Invitational at Lehigh University, which produced a wide scale of competition including Lafayette, Colgate, the US Naval Academy, and eventual winner Princeton. And as always, we start with the women, who finished 22nd out of 42 teams, a very large pool of runners at the Invitational this weekend. Juniors Antonia Pagliuca and Courtney Fisher led the Hounds once again, finishing with times of 21:38 and 22:47, respectively. And no, this is not a rerun of last week's episode. Senior Rachel Avard, who's been a leader for this program in her four years, finished third for Assumption at 23:11. Another young runner to note, freshman Kylie Marston, finished fourth on the women's team. Coach, your thoughts on those finishes? Um, I thought it was great. I mean, you, it says 22 out of 42, and so you look at that and you don't think that that's a great accomplishment. But you know, to beat a ton of solid teams, particularly out of the Patriot League, they're Division One. We're Division Two. We came in there and actually beat a bunch of um, teams from the Atlantic region. Um, we're in the East region. Atlantic region is just below us with a lot of schools from Pennsylvania, and we beat mm -hmm. their number three, four, five, and six teams. <laughs> Um, so that puts us right on the map. I mean, like I said, we'll come out of here. We'll see if we'll get a couple of more votes for top 25 in the country. Um, but pr majority of the team had PRs. This is the fastest that anyone has run on this course. Um, looking at Antonia Pagaluka, looking with some other girls I used to coach mm -hmm. and where they finished in the national championships. I mean, she's, she's setting herself up nicely um, to not only help our team get there to the national championships and finish top 25 in the country, but also she's, she's right on the mark to try to go for our All-America status and mm -hmm. that's really going to be the goal and looking forward for the next four weeks definitely now over to the men who had a great performance finishing fifth out of 34 teams their race had a few less team than than the women's did two familiar faces finished in the top three top three for the greyhounds again with junior ian flanagan finishing first at 26 48 his 524 mile pace was his fastest time this season thus far Freshman Will Mardo finished second at 27.04, and his classmate Zach Duran finished out Assumption's top three runners 21 seconds later with a time of 27.25. Nice to see another freshman finish in the top three with Will. Yeah, I mean, definitely with Will. He would have broken 27 if he didn't have some trouble at the line. Um, I was afraid he wasn't going to finish there for a second or two. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there, if you notice in our top seven, there's no seniors. I mean, I, I said, you know, all year we're very young, but this is a great group and we're running faster than we've ever run here at Assumption as, as a whole. Um, huge PRs, uh, this course. So, like I said, this really sets us up nicely for the, for as we head into championship season. Definitely. Now, Assumption is back on the road, but a little closer to home this weekend on Saturday, October 8th for the New England Championship in Boston, which is always a good test for your team year in and year out. And that will do it for us this week. Thank you, Coach, as always. Yep. And stay tuned for next week's episode as we will recap the New England Championship. For Head Coach Stacey Wentz, I'm Evan O'Neill saying so long and go Hounds.